There's something about marrying has probably the worst portrayal of Marge Simpson in the entirety of The Simpsons. Or maybe not, considering the fact that there are over 750 episodes of the series as of writing this script. And I haven't seen all of them, so who knows? Maybe there is a worst Marge Simpson episode out there. But regardless, this episode has always stuck out to me for all of the wrong reasons. And it all comes down to the awful characterization of Marge here, as it has a deadly combination of hypocrisy, entitlement, and a botched execution of a story. But let's quit beating around the bush. It is now time to take a look at the episode, There's Something About Marrying. So the episode begins with Barton Mill House, mercilessly pranking a tourist. Can't wait till this is over! This backfires, however, when it is revealed that the man in question is actually the host of a tourism show, where he visits every town in the United States, and rates them depending on his experience. Unsurprisingly, he states that Springfield was the only one that he didn't like, due to all the torment that he was subjected to, resulting in him giving the town his worst ever rating. Because of this, Springfield has a massive drop in tourism, which has a major impact on the town's financial situation, and so a town meeting is held in order to find a solution to this problem. Also, has anyone else noticed that this is almost the exact same plot setup as A Star Is Burns? They even repeat the same joke about selling fake maps to movie star homes. Except unlike that episode, this one sucks. Lisa then suggests that they legalize same-sex marriage, and Mayor Quimby approves of the idea. Before long, Springfield is visited by several gay couples, hoping to get married. But unfortunately, Reverend Rob Joy refuses to perform any ceremonies. Due to his blatant homophobia, Marge tries to argue that God probably doesn't care if two people who love each other are the same sex. But Reverend, scriptural scholars disagree on the significance. Unfortunately, as we'll later see in this episode, Marge will retract from this stance. Anyway, Mayor Quimby points out that Lovejoy is missing out on an opportunity to make a lot of money by marrying all the same sex couples in Springfield, which gives Homer an idea. Hey, I gotta get in on this. These people have rights. The right to buy me a 62-inch TV. <coughs> wow, that has got to be the most accurate metaphor for Disney. Anyway, Homer becomes a minister through the internet. And before long, he marries every gay couple in town. Well, all he can do now is wait for some other guys to turn. Where's Lenny and Carl? Don't you push them. They've got to work that out for themselves. And so he offers his services to anyone who wants to marry, in order to keep his business afloat. We then get a scene where Homer and Lovejoy are interviewed by Kent Brockman to debate about gay marriage. And although there are quite a few funny lines here, it's unfortunate that Homer is in the position of fighting for gay marriage instead of someone who genuinely cares for the rights of LGBT people as he just wants to profit off of them. And so in the next scene, we get to the main plot point of the episode where Patty visits the Simpsons household to announce her engagement along with requesting Homer to perform the wedding ceremony. Martin is thrilled by the news, until Patty reveals that her fiancé is a woman, and comes out as gay. And despite supporting same-sex marriage earlier in the episode, Marge immediately becomes uncomfortable with the fact that Patty is a lesbian. I love you, I love gay marriage, so I'd be a super hypocrite if I didn't love your gay marriage. Look, there are ways to make self-aware jokes work, but intentionally writing a character to contradict themselves, just to point it out, is lazy writing. Anyway, that night, Patty introduces her fiancé, Veronica, and Marge is having an increasingly hard time hiding her discomfort with the situation. Eventually, Patty gets tired of Marge's BS and calls her out on her double standard. She then sincerely asks her to learn to accept her for who she is and attend the wedding, as it would mean a lot to her. However, on the day of the wedding, Marge tries to paint Patty as the one who is in the wrong in this conflict. I just can't believe my sister would keep me in the dark, then expect complete acceptance on the day she gets married. Okay, Marge's hypocrisy with her stance on gay marriage already painted her in a bad light, but it's here where her character becomes truly despicable in this episode. First of all, if she was already supportive of same-sex marriage, then there's no reason for her to not be accepting of her own sister being gay, and Patty had every right to call out this double standard. Also, coming out as gay isn't easy for someone to do, and wanting to be accepted
accepted by their family is completely reasonable. The thing is, Patty had been reasonable and sincere, which makes Marge come across as unlikable due to how she responds to her coming out. Also Marge, you're not entitled to know right away, as people should be able to come out when they feel safe and comfortable enough to do so, rather than out of obligation. And since Patty is your sister, along with the fact that you're already supportive of gay marriage, sure you can at least try to learn to accept her for her sexuality, even if it's not right away. But believe it or not, she gets worse. So it is revealed in the episode's climax that Veronica is actually a man, disguised as a woman. Or at least that's what the writing seems to indicate. But long before we met, I disguised myself as a woman and lied my way onto the LPGA tour. But now I'm asking you, not as Veronica, but as the man I am. I don't know whether or not the writers intended for Veronica to be a trans woman, although if that was the case, then I imagine that this would be seen as a dated portrayal. That doesn't age well. Anyway, Marge finds out about this secret before the wedding, and instead of informing Patty about this, she gleefully anticipates her reaction, as if that's what she deserves, and attends the wedding, pretending that she approves of the marriage. Wow. Marge is just straight up awful in this episode. Anyway, at the wedding, Patty gives her bows, talking about honesty, and Marge only now starts to care about Patty, and reveals Veronica's secret. Veronica, whose real name is Wesley, then comes clean to Patty, but ask her if she still wants to go through with the wedding, to which she says no to. Marge then finally accepts Patty for who she is, and the two of them reconcile. Although, Marge's moral inconsistency results in this moment having no real emotional impact. And that was, there's something about marrying. And oh boy, this episode sucked a lot. Aside from a couple of funny lines here and there, this was a poorly executed episode overall, and it's solely due to Marge's characterization that makes her come across as completely unlikable. The the story would have worked better if she had started up as against gay marriage, but then gradually changes her mind throughout the episode, and then accepts Patty as a lesbian at the end. But instead, she's just a blatant hypocrite, and the way she conducted herself makes the resolution feel forced. What makes the bad writing in this episode even worse is the fact that there was already a great episode of The Simpsons that does an excellent job at criticizing homophobia, that being homophobia. Then again, there's something about marrying was was written wrong after the series had fell from grace. Still though, Homer's Phobia was way ahead of its time, so it's unfortunate that the something about marrying had aged as poorly as it did. Overall, this was definitely the worst Marge Simpson episode, in my opinion. Unless there's one I haven't seen that has an even worse portrayal of her character. And if that's the case, then let me know in the comments. And that was my review of the Simpsons episode, The Something About Marrying. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like, share, and comment. Comment. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, then head over to my Patreon. Well, I got nothing else to say, so see ya.